and welcome back to the Global Poker League this Thursday evening. This is it. Things are getting emotional in the studio. This is the final game of studio play here for season one of the GPL. And we have a match coming up for you. It's Maria Ho, the manager of LA Sunset versus Kevin McPhee of the New York Rounders. As we know, the New York Rounders will not be going to Vegas. They did not make the playoffs. They unfortunately went out last night, but still these guys will play for some points right now. Nine points up for grabs. Uh, LA Sunset will not be able to get to the top spot. Montreal Nationals have too much of a lead on them, but still this will be a fun last game no matter what. So uh, I guess we're going to go straight to the game. We're going to go to the booth for the last time. I'm getting emotional. George Danza is still here with Roland in the booth B. Thank you, Laura. Final match, final time in the booth with George Danza. It's been so short, George. I, 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 you know, we found you too late in the day. You know, six weeks of action, and uh, we only found you on the uh, the penultimate night, wandering around Malta, uh, looking for a looking for a commentary booth to. Uh, to uh, you know, re release your wisdom into. Uh, so uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, and uh, well, I just hope it's a fun match. Uh, sometimes you know when there's nothing on the line, you know things can surprise you. Um, Zhao Bar against Scott Ball. That was, that was a fun game. You know, a few little quirky plays. And uh, hopefully to see me more of, more of that from uh, Maria Ho and uh, Kevin McPhee. Um, do you know anything about either of these guys? What 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 we're likely to see from them? Haven't seen Maria Ho in heads up yet. So uh, yeah, yeah I a haven't bit of a mystery. Seen anything of her uh, in shorthanded play? I've played once with her at the uh, World Series main event. No. Uh, we were sitting at the same table uh, like two or three years ago. And Kevin McPhee is one of the players I haven't had at my table too often, like two or three times in, in EPTs, that kind of stuff. But you don't see how people play heads up. So yeah, I mean, a lot of these players, we do, you, we, we see them, at, you know, big final tables of, of big events, um, EPT, World Series of Poker. But we, we, I mean, we've seen Kevin twice um, in the GPL, uh, two, two heads up, ma uh, not twice in the GPL, two heads up matches, uh, lost one and won one. But he's a player with, you know, great credentials, um, former GPI number five. Um, almost six million earnings, 101 caches, four wins over the last 10 years. Um, you know, we've said it time and time again. Uh, great shame to see a team like the uh, New York Rounders, uh, with all the talent they have, um, not making it to the um, playoffs. But, you know, that's the, the league. Someone has to go. And the game is ready. Let's do it. Kevin McPhee, Maria Ho. Hey, Maria. Hi. There we go. All right. Timing on point. So, it's late here here in Malta. Um, we'll just go min raise. Um, it's like almost midnight here and I actually made the final table of the 1k um, side event. So a little pokered out, but we'll see what happens. It's kind of nice to know that no matter what the standings aren't going to change. So, you know, have a formidable opponent. So we'll see. Slight brag. Yeah, and I feel that. Oh God, I'm so exhausted from uh, from all this poker. And I have a final table. So oh, God, it's a hard life. Probably. Hopefully, this internet will hold. I'll just see you bet here. Kevin, possibly going to stick around here. No, okay. <laughs> Kevin uh, had, a, had the misfortune of a, the, the double donor in uh, week two of the uh, GPL, busting Don't first in, uh, in sect of six big blind, matches. And this is definitely one of those passable hands. He did get cooler both times. It was a pretty unfortunate night for him, but he's bounced back. You know, since we're playing so deep, I think I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll have a limping strategy, but I'll also have kind of a, a min-raise strategy. I don't, I don't know. We'll see how, uh, you know, what adjustments need to be made. But for now, seems like a good place to start.
thought we might begin the night both players saying, OK, I'm just going to go crazy here. Wanna, <laughs> let's have some fireworks. Let's <laughs> kind of Anatoly Filatov style. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to three bet five hands in a row. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going to grind it out. Yeah, maybe, it, maybe we're going to see it. Make it 300, 100 hand games, you know. <laughs> uh, maybe we're going to see it. Give us something for, for the last match and, and have a, a couple of hundred hands here. So maybe maybe we break the record in the uh, final match. Break the uh, record break for the longest match. Break the record. Match. Go straight through the night. You <laughs> yeah. know. Then yeah. And, yeah. Go out. Jack is back. Take yeah. a bath. Jack is probably Early in the morning him. in the bay. You know. Yeah. I mean, Maria's probably got a day too. Guess I should Maria's pull up <laughs> the feed to see what he has later. Yeah, of course, Marin. You then you can listen to uh, Roland in the booth, Boothby and Georgie Danza. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> changing the structure for the final match. 200, 400 limit, 25 minute levels. Three day event. <laughs> Best of nine. And the winner gets nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the loser loses nothing. <laughs> Make it exciting for the last match. I mean, Kevin looks pretty focused here. He's uh, not going to goof around. He's he's heard about the uh, the trades that are possible for uh, season two. Doesn't want to be uh, traded out. Wants to uh, fight back for uh, for the rounders. Limp here with 10 9 off suit or still, you know, like we're pretty much 80 bigs effective, so really deep. We're just gonna not do anything too crazy. Come on, Maria, let's Go do crazy. something crazy one time for the fans. First time for Maria Ho in heads up on the GPL. She's uh, made five, six max matches. She's had a win, one win, a third, a fourth, and a fifth. One donut. Tens is a good hand, heads up. Yeah, tens is good. So we had the the people with the best uh, fine, percentage uh, of points won. Who are the players with the worst percentage? Well, I mean, pretty yeah. solid. It's time to, to, to take out the statistics here in the last game and, and go crazy on the number. Probably we need Eric for that one, right? Yeah, we might need Eric for that. I mean, the um, one of the the unfortunate kind of consequences of going through the players with the worst percentages. There are a few players who've played like four matches, five matches. You know, they haven't really like. Fully realised their kind of the, their EV, and uh, I mean one of them was Phil, like Phil Galfont, um, before his most recent win against uh, Felipe Mahrez. He was running at like 25% uh, points efficiency, despite like playing pretty well mm -hmm. in every game he played in. Uh, Vanessa Selbst is, I think, below 20%, um, and she's like been cooled a few times in the <laughs> in the six maxes. So, so it's a bit harsh on players who haven't played so so often. We don't care about sample yeah. size. Maria's 37%. Yeah. Could, could do better. I'm sure Eric will help me out. It's a pretty safe card. It makes more draws, so more hands she's going to barrel here. You know how, how hero we I feel with bottom pair, but. Certainly seems like it could be good in this spot again. We'll just check this back, I think. That kind of hits a bunch of semi bluff range in the flop, so it's probably reasonable to check again, try to show down against like some high card hands. Hope it just checks back. Don't really want to see a bet. I don't know. I think we'll have to 
I don't really know. Maybe I should turn my hand into a bluff, but I can't really rep a flush here because I probably would have bet turn. And if Kevin checks here, he probably has like an eight maybe or I don't know, a hand he might call with. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. We're just going to go for it because we're kind of free rolling this match in a way. So, you know, I think it's fine to try to turn my hand into a bluff. I mean, it kind of looks like Kevin could have an eight here. It looks like he has showdown value because he checked the river. I would probably bet the turn if I turned the backdoor flush draw, if I turned so some more equity, but like, uh, I don't know. Jack fourth the jack of spades or something like that. I might turn this into a bluff, but... That's the spirit, Maria. To ha have to decide how somebody would play a match bluff. now that you know the rounders are unfortunately eliminated from playoff block. contention. So you also have to kind of get a good gauge on their mindset. You know, if they're going to really try their hardest, or if they're kind of phoning it in at this point because the results don't really matter. Um, I don't know. I think that dynamic factors into yeah. whether or not I'm going to take this spot. Well played. Personally, and as, as a bluff or not. But Kevin McBee knows? is trying hard, so we can see that. He thought about it for a good while. And um, I like not betting too big there in Maria's shoes because she analyzed that she would bet most of the flush draws on the turn so she doesn't have that many flushes so and th those are the best hands that could be possible yeah, there so thing. if you don't have too many of the best hands you can't bluff too high because you only can do that if you have a lot of very good hands in your range too the big bet right because yep. that's when you want to get the big value out of so in this case you have to do both the thin value bets and the strong value bets and your bluffs all a little lower, so like three and a half thousand, something like that. M maybe even just three thousand. Uh, she chose close to four thousand, which is fine too. But I would not have liked the overbet in that spot as a bluff. People like to just overbet bluff, but you have to pick those spots and not just randomly do it. And uh, that was a spot that I didn't like too much for the overbet bluff. And uh, so I appreciate that uh, Maria didn't go for it <laughs> because <laughs> else I I might have to pull out some some criticism which I'm not not keen of I don't like to criticize players I always want to say yeah that was okay <laughs> <laughs> that's like the worst I, I I like to to bash players like ah maybe you could have done it a little bit different <laughs> I try yeah I've been trying to use pretty neutral language in there but you know Based on my own ability. Um, if a player butchers a hand, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. I can sometimes, I sometimes say I'm a little bit surprised by, <laughs> by the same player. That's as far as I go. We haven't seen so <laughs> many butchered hands though no, on no. the GPL. Players know that there is cameras on them. The whole cards are visible, so they really try not to butcher them. It was interesting. The, the first two weeks of the, the current phase, uh, Jonathan Little was in there. And, and during that time, uh, just following on from what you said about, you know, sizing people going big with their bluffs, um, we didn't see a single small bluff, you know, kind of below half pot um, in the entire two weeks that are Jonathan Little. We, we were waiting for a small, you know, one of those little value, those bluffs that looks like a little value bet, um, but, but isn't. Um, um, and we, oh yeah, we only saw big sizing on bluffs uh, in, the, in the two weeks, in the six, t um, you know, six days of, poker that Jonathan Little watched. We, we were waiting for the, the small, you know, the small little valuey bluff. But uh, Yes, I think even the, the term post oak bluff just vanished because people <laughs> don't do those no, small... They uh, just bomb. They just bomb it now. Ooh. Got shot on flush draw against two pair. Yeah, this is the, uh, the action card. Board's really draw heavy too, so so Kevin is probably going to raise this turn. He doesn't want to give a a, a Jack three suited a free river card yeah. here. Oh. oh, he decides he wants to. So now, hey, now she can. Uh, 
Hmm. She can bluff at this. And this is a spot where you could even go big, but on the four card straight board, usually people just go for the for the standard like 5k something a little bit over half pot, um, which is fine. Oh, she, gonna give up? she gives up on that one. She is there. Uh, Whoa, what? Okay. Mm. Surprised she didn't try to bluff there. She had like the best hand to bluff with. Yep. That was a really good hand to bluff. Yeah. She has a lot of checks too, so oh. the story would have made sense. That's what what I'm always looking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're a big fan. Of the, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm big fan a of the story. story. A coherent, incredible story. And the jack would have played exactly <laughs> like that, you know. Check the flop, bet the turn, bet the river. Well, I've, I've been learning a lot in this in this in this booth, as you as you can probably imagine. You know, I was I was wondering why all my bluffs were getting called and, 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 you know, <laughs> and look, getting looked up by marginal hands, <laughs> even though I'm pretty tight. And then, uh, and then I realized story. I wasn't telling good stories. I wasn't. My stories made no sense. I'm seeing now that she bluffed me, nine deuce off suit, uh, bottom pair. Against a smaller bet, maybe she could have called with the king high. They're starting to limp quite early in this match. Usually players start to limp when it gets under 30 bigs. But uh, these two are starting it with 45 bigs. That's interesting. Both players flopped a piece here. It's interesting to see how uh, Maria proceeds. It's going to call. Final match of studio action on the GPL Season 1. I'm with George Danza. Any questions for George? Pop them in the Twitch chat or uh, tag a tweet. GPL. And uh, could be the uh, the last time we're seeing George around any form of poker for a while. So, uh, <laughs> last chance saloon. Kevin doesn't have that many aces in this spot because you you raise most of the aces from from the button and and heads up. I, I think Maria is gonna call here, and most of the rivers just go check check, and she takes the pot down. Yeah, this is going to go check, check. Now, this Kevin could decide to turn his hand in, into a bluff. I mean, he has better hands um, to bluff here. But not many, because most of the bluffs that he bluffed on the turn were semi-bluffs, and the seven helps most of them, because now the open ender at least has a pair of sevens, because that would be the, the, um, the seven-nine. Um, or the seven ten for the for the double gutter, right. and uh, both of those yeah, hands hit the seven, so the, the six is pretty much one of the worst now. That turn to get value from things that just hit the river. So yeah. okay, but yeah. Yeah. you don't have to bluff the six here, but uh, I guess I could just check back, check back turn there. Yeah, with the information that he doesn't have the the ace too often, I think Ooh, it's better. Ooh, it got to dark here all of a sudden. The, Power the cut, lights yeah. like on automatic. Hold on, I'm gonna have to. It's like on a sensor, and it thinks I'm not in the room anymore. Hold on, I gotta go turn that's the how, light that's back how on after she this is. hand. Not even, uh, not even twitching it. Twitching enough to keep the lights on. She, she can see her. Uh, a keyboard. Okay, I'm playing in the dark here, <laughs> and the 
room in this hotel is on a sensor and it thinks I'm not here. So I guess I'm not here. You can start waving, Maria. Dancing, waving, jumping, skipping. Look at that dot. Surely, like, <laughs> surely like her screen is, is, is like lighting her face or something. That's spooky. Maria? Maria, you still there? Okay, okay. I need to turn this light back on. <laughs> Three back, go turn the light on. Like a boss. Oh. Nice place. Yeah, that sounded All like right, high heels back. there. <laughs> you have to be ready even for, for a match where it, it doesn't matter anymore, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've, we've, got a, we've got a good standard on the, uh, you know, we, uh, Juan Lu's been looking, uh, you know, looking good for the uh, Montreal Nationals. And we saw, and we saw once uh, Igor was Igor was playing and and Liv was there all the time and then we Always another feels time good to make Eagle's top playing, pair. <laughs> Liv wasn't ready and she was <laughs> she just ran past that camera she 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 don't want to she don't want to be appearing on the GPL uh, you know not not camera ready oh yeah I got caught once just I remember your hair was, <laughs> your hair was looking just waking up you know. <laughs> And yeah, your uh, hair is looking rushing to the very computer, sad. Just, <laughs> just straight out of the shower. But it makes a difference if oh you're yeah, mentally you're focused and prepared. Definitely going to three bet get this in good. against his, you know, thirty-three big blind stack. Um, I can't exactly remember what I made it last time when I had eights, but you know, just going for the same sizing. You know, just a, a tad over 3x. Tournament poker. Ah, Kevin's going to blast it in and, you know, try and yeah, you use hope the, for the best. The, yeah, you use the small suited aces as, as, the, as the blocker balance uh, bluffs. And he takes the ace twos. It's a standard play. It's not nothing too fancy here. But little, he, he's going to get a little slow roll here from her. A little slow roll from Maria. That's no, the deuce. Kevin heart. McPhee, a heart draw from Maria. Queen or a heart. Kevin holding Put through a that heart turn. Up there, please. Hot or a queen needed for Maria. <laughs> there it is, Kevin McPhee. <laughs> All right. Too yeah, little, too late for the. Not really uh, good enough to call three bet with, and she's already kind of showed that she's going to be a little more gambly than me. So just rip it in her face and get lucky. Yeah, so why not? I will nice. be going all in here with King High for sub Maria. Ten right big blind stack. Now it's pretty, uh, Oops. <laughs> pretty safe for uh, Kevin. Diamond will uh, make things a little bit more interesting, or some paint. Maria needing a jack. Jack? No. Not enough. <laughs> Kevin McPhee takes the first one down. Uh, maybe we're going to see the uh, the money maker effect on the uh, New York Rounders. You know, once they uh, once they um, were confirmed um, eliminated, they like, you know they couldn't couldn't stop winning until uh, well until Zhao Bauer. You know, put an end to that. Um, any surprises there from what you saw? A little, uh, slightly conservative from a, from a match, the you know, at the beginning, from a match where, uh, we were, you know, not much riding on it. Yeah, well, uh, a little bit of limping on the yeah. back. <laughs> you know, 45 we, deep, was 45 yeah, lines deep. We don't see that <laughs> one uh, too often. The possible bluffs were not taken. Uh, all the spots. Yeah. Where you could have done the bluffs were not taken, so yeah, a little more conservative than matches we we have seen uh, yeah. here on the on the last uh, two days of play, but um, 
at the end, Maria got it in good with the yeah, with the ace, ace queen, queen little, the little five second slow roll there <laughs> just to uh, <laughs> get to get Kevin to think eh, maybe maybe my ace is good. Yeah, maybe she's got you know king queen, but um, Kevin didn't matter. Maybe, maybe she was uh, punished for the. Uh, it, it may not have been a slow roll <laughs> at all. I'm just I'm just kind of I'm just gonna goofing around. Maybe she may have been just trying to I don't know, fix the light or something. But um, well, three points for the uh, New York Rounders that um, not aren't really gonna do them. Uh, much use, <laughs> but you know may maybe they can finish the season with a with a sweep and uh, you know go into uh, season two with a with a smile on their face. Game two is ready. Let's do it. Maria Ho one nil down to Kevin McPhee. And Maria Ho is in the uh, Twitch chat. Aha, uh -huh. respect there, seven dues from the button. Just give it up. We have seen both sides, <laughs> right? The raise and the forward, seven dues. All a piece here for uh, both these guys. I know, I know that Maria Ho is planning to uh, stick around in Malta uh, for a little while yet. She's the, uh, of course, the 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 host of the uh, Battle of Malta, which is a uh, fantastic tournament, uh, annual tournament in Malta, which takes place uh, after the EPT, the first day of weekend in November. Winner of a European Poker Award for the uh, best tournament, best European tournament under 2,000 euro buy-in. A fun tournament, gonna probably get around 2,000 runners this year, estimated. Always a, a fun weekend for the poker community of Malta. Well, Maria gets check raised and peels it with bottom pair, which is fine on a board that has a lot of draws. Is this when she uh, gives it up? The jack is not a card that Kevin McPhee hits too often, so... I do have a queen blocker, so I think I can maybe call turn and try to bluff some rivers if I don't improve. Oh! oh. <laughs> Could just improve. <laughs> That's the other. It's nice when you, you're planning to bluff and then you don't have to. Yeah, but I really like the plan here of uh, of calling. I'm not too sure about the bluffing. It really depends on the river card. If it uh, makes sense or not, because Kevin McPhee is mostly check raising his draws <laughs> and two pair or better, so that's trips or or jacks and nines that he has there on the turn. Um, it's, uh, I would be ready to check behind a lot of rivers too, or hero call with bottom pair if I call the turn there, putting the opponent on the on the draw, but. That's always the easiest one to just hit it and have a have an easy value bet. We took kind of an unconventional approach to this hand, check raising. I'm gonna check raise some flops against her, so I gotta include some top pairs sometimes, but uh, seems like we're probably gonna have to call the way this hand played out. Unless she just floated flop with something weird. Yeah, he's, he's quite like spot on yeah. with Jack the nine, flop and turn <laughs> action, just that she has exactly the queen, three, four, or Jack it's like three. the two hand. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm probably calling. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Calls the bottom pair on turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there you see why the, yeah, the plan of, of calling to bluff so the river is not so good, river. because he's and calling anyway if he has the miss. hands that yeah. check raises. And then just gets there. So I guess I like my check call line, since she's probably turning any three or any four into a bluff there as well. I mean, certainly she'd have to, to legitimize the turn call. So it's a little frustrating. It's like, pretty sure I'm getting value from top pair there. She's 
showing that she doesn't really um, take the match too seriously, it seems like. <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> it's a little frustrating. It's got the gin card on us. Pretty optimistic turn call, obviously. I mean, I think if we're playing for any sort of stakes, that probably doesn't happen. Kevin is really taking the match seriously. He just proved it. Yeah, and then pretty kind of spot on analysis in terms of um, you know how his perception of how the hand was going to play out. If if she doesn't hit a queen, uh, you know she bluffs. He calls exactly, and that's the part of why I didn't like her plan to call to bluff because she's ahead of a lot of draws anyway. So there is really not a lot of river cards that she wants to bluff, and so the the turn call to bluff the river. Is, is worse than just turn the call if you think the opponent still has enough draws that he's going to barrel. Uh, it's definitely an interesting dynamic because, you know, like I said, this match doesn't affect the standings in any way. So now it's all kind of about sportsmanship and heart, you know, from both of our parts. And, you know, let's just get this in. Let's just right. not waste any well, uh, time. <laughs> Barring Ooh, any like, funky so run outs. Let's on the spades. Spade. Yeah, that's for Spade. Maria. A little justice from that. Uh, oh, oh <laughs> Kevin's going to uh, throw Come up, on. I think, if, uh, if the spade comes it. here. <laughs> no! And, uh, Why? <laughs> I really feel for uh, Kevin's laptop if uh, that spade had come. Really impressed by um, Kevin's focus and his, uh, you know, his, his will to win here. Really um, kind of showing a lot of uh, professionalism and, and heart. Guys, we're playing conservative because conservative we have heart and we are we have good sportsmanship and we're still going to try to take this very seriously, even though we could kind of just blast off, I guess. <laughs> oh, we didn't criticize the, the conservative <laughs> play. We, we just commented on what we saw. Is, wouldn't you agree, George? Yes, and we always endorse the blast off. So, <laughs> <laughs> please. <laughs> It was not a slow roll. It was <laughs> me lo looking to see what hand Kevin had in a previous hand. Okay. And, <laughs> and I looked up and saw that he had gone all in with aces, <laughs> and I, that's why it took me a little while uh, to call. We're just, we're just having fun, Maria. Definitely not a slow roll. She could have just admitted it was a slow and roll. And yes, I, <laughs> I want to say hi to the homies. <laughs> yeah, but that has happened to me a bunch of times too. You're playing a lot of tables, you know, yeah, you're tabling, yeah. and then. At yeah, some point and you your opponent goes into the tank, and you think you got the best hand, and he, he, he realizes the action's on him, and uh, he's got you crushed. No. Oh. Ouch. I think Maria's gonna elect to check call this. And she might get away depending on how this board runs out. It's still 10 times spot effectively. That's not a spot yeah. where you want to to blast off <laughs> with, with top pair, uh, middle-ish kicker um, on a monotone board. Although, again, with the blast offs. <laughs> 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 Let's do it. No, check all is the smart play here now with the seven she has to check all again and then the river might be re-evaluated
this is a spot where Maria has to count a couple of combinations. Because Kevin McPhee is three barreling. So every time he's betting, he should do it with less hands. Because a lot of hands are checking too, right? So every time he bets. Oh, I was going to do the big explaining Ooh. while she was <laughs> tanking and she just snapped it off. <laughs> That's unfair, Maria. Let me let me talk about the judge this do his a stuff. little bit. Let the professor profess. <laughs> I just got Is the moment passed now? I'm yeah, it's passed. <laughs> I just gotta keep the rest of the of the knowledge to myself. <laughs> Please, I mean, this is the this is our last chance. Can I, can I press you on your retirement a bit more? Is it a full <laughs> retirement, or like some people say, like I'm, I'm going to retire, but then just play the World Series, or just play the main event, or just, like just, play, a, just play a few a events, lot of the yeah, chat just win a few. And based on a lot of the commentary, you guys want us to just blast off because the results don't really matter of this match. <laughs> yeah, we just want to see from fireworks. Yeah, we right? like we just like some action. needles, like Filatov style stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I'm still gonna try to keep my, my poker game not not going into the dumpster. Yeah. So, so <laughs> trying to keep it on an okay level and then next year scoop WSOP comes around. Yeah, those kind of re series that I like that have a, a lot of mixed games in there then check how the game's doing and and maybe maybe play a little yeah. bit again. There's different. I feel like there's different levels of, of retirement. You got the, the Fedor retirement. Uh, we, <laughs> he's retired, but he still still you know wins twelve million dollars in in four months. And there's, there's like I don't know, Doc Sands retired, or he like just comes out for like the World Series and a few uh, Aria twenty five Ks. And then there's just like retired, retired. And, uh, that's that's, that's not true, Kevin. I am taking the match soon. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard Kevin's commentary. I think we've been taking this match pretty seriously, all things considered. She's she's getting like conflicting uh, conflicting emotions. We're we're we She feels like we're criticizing her for taking it too seriously. She feels like Kevin's criticizing her for not taking it seriously enough. She doesn't. Know. <laughs> Yeah, we just, we just like, as George said, we just like blasting off. We just like to see uh, fireworks. But we don't we don't let that affect how others play. We just uh, we just commentate on what we see. Kevin, looks like he might be uh, thinking about three betting this. There you go. Yeah, if you think your opponent is going to peel a lot of three bets, like Maria just proved she is, yeah. then you want to do exactly what Kevin McPhee is doing here and three bet something like Jack 10 suited, Queen Jack off, a little, a little flatter value three bet range and if you know the opponent calls seven nine off suit then you're gonna have him him dominate the two in those bigger pots where he calls the three bet which is fine if he always folds those kind of hands and just continues with the better or with the hands with very good playability then you're you're uh, probably better off calling the queen check to keep worse hands that you're gonna outflop or out turn out river in the course of the hand in there instead of three betting them out but uh, i like the adjustment and he he had a good read there like two uh, pretty even stacks here kevin has uh battled his way back after the uh 
pretty uh, well, now slightly uh, controversial hand of uh, of earlier against Queen Three. Little piece here for uh, both these guys. Kevin with a, with a certainly a kind of few backdoor possibilities to go with his gut shot. Oh yeah, the nine of spades would be a, an interesting turn card, I feel like. on Kevin. He uh, tank checks this one and uh, Rivers is straight. Now he's going to value bet then after this passive line he might get some some action here. He might get the call because Maria could think now if he has the gut shot why wouldn't he do the semi-bluff and bet one or two barrels and then uh, after it hits um, and you took the passive line, opponent doesn't put you on this kind of uh, drawing hands. We call yeah. that other drawing hands. So um, he, he got, if you hit it, you're going to get paid off. So th the chances are a little bit higher that you, you get called, of course, if yeah. you try to bluff. So he might just check down the queen high. He's good in a, in a in a slim margin, and then again, if he hits, he's got getting some extra value. So you see that you don't have to barrel off any kind of of draw. Of yeah. Draw. There is yeah. you can elect to to play it a little bit different and maybe get value from that too. So yeah. um, you can get creative in heads up poker. It's not the 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 perfect line. It's not always. 100% set in stone. There is a, lo a lot of different styles, the more aggressive ones, the passive ones. Both can work out. You just have to have a, a, a complete game plan that fits together. You can't be changing around um, and uh, doing w the, the, the passive line ones, the, the aggressive line uh, in, the s in, the, in the same hand. You can change gears, but in, in one hand you have to, <laughs> to go in with one ga game plan and just... And tell your story. And tell the story, right? Yeah. So in this this case, he told the story that he doesn't have it because he hit it yeah. at the end and, and it worked out too. So And also on the flip side, I mean, from Maria's perspective, you can see why she looks him up. He's had he's in position, he's had two chances to bet his... Um, to bet his draw in position he's, and he's, you know, taken neither of them. So, you know, it's it's kind of understandable especially to me why why maria you know gets curious uh, at the end Gut shot for Kevin here. Could, could get interesting. Yeah, Maria probably like to uh, like to see a turn card. A few uh, backdoor possibilities. And she only has nine high, so it's uh, yeah. It's a <laughs> hand where it makes sense to make a continuation bet. There we see the aggressive line with the gut shot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the really nice float. 
<laughs> with the back doors and the nine high. That's that's the kind of blast we want to see. Man. <laughs> Controlled blasting. Mm. Thought out blasting. Now call the turn bed and mm -hmm. then Kevin checks the river and just ship it in. Yep. Just give it like to a him. boss. I mean, I just want Maria to win this pot so bad because she, she has the Wilkesuth hand as well. <laughs> Ooh, the really tricky. Take it on the river. C come on, Maria. Load up that barrel. She's not going to check Pull behind. Pull the trigger. She's not going to check behind. The best... Here would be Kevin bluffing the Queen 10. And Maria just chipping it in, but it doesn't make too much sense with Queen 10. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna bet here. But I have to tell you, it's dangerous. Because Kevin McPhee might call a queen high here. He might do it. Just, you know, put the opponent on 9-7 with the float. Here we go. There are much better hands to call here on the river, so... I don't expect him to do it, but there is a slight chance. Oh, there we go. Nine high like a boss. <laughs> yeah. Maria Ho gets it through. He was he was a little bit skeptic there. Yeah. You, you could see it in his face. It's, he he even uh, gave out the curious. little... A hmm. little, yeah, little, outward, little outward sigh. Uh, all right, now, now I'm hearing the, her reaction to my commentary on the Queen 3. Sorry, sorry Maria, I'm not, not trying to be critical or anything. I know we're not. <laughs> Just having fun. You're right, it's all about sportsmanship and having fun, finishing up the season strong. Sorry about being critical. But I like winning. <laughs> oh, man. People are way too nice here. <laughs> I mean, why don't yeah. we have a little bit of Kasuv battle yeah, in here? Yeah. You know? Why are people so nice? Maybe when Kevin is sees... Is it the GPL spirit or something? I mean, I guess, you know, it was uh, the whole drive to sportify poker and, you know, all this, like, sportsmanship's coming through. It's actually nice to see, though. Sometimes I'm a little bit, you know, a little troll. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Everyone's nice, and then you and then you have Jungle Man, <laughs> and then, ah, then things the change. That's the perfect things balancing change dramatically. That you need in the league. A player like Jungle Man, playing great and trash talking great. <laughs> hey, we saw the the night Jungle Man was was running well. Is <laughs> the yeah, he, he turned into a you know like a little angel. You need him. You need him just, just to get lucky in a little little pot here, a little pot there, and then the uh, the expletives are unleashed. This match pretty close here, but still not much between these two guys. Hand twenty four. Last couple of hands at eight sixteen before we uh, move up to one k two k. This is the uh, last match of studio action. Season one of the GPL. Gonna be a barely a dry eye in the house as the uh, GPL draws to a close. We uh, pack things up and uh, head off to Vegas for the playoffs. Hello, Ace King. My friend. Okay. Do 
How is this going to play out? I mean, Maria could check this back, presumably. I mean, it's not a not, not the uh, the prettiest flop for Ace King. Yeah, if she bets this one, it's to to use it as a bluff and go one, two, or three barrels. So checking behind is fine. Just a king working for, uh, just a uh, jack working for Maria here. Can you uh, let it go? Ooh, nice. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty snug, but uh, solid. Pretty, pretty, um, solid pretty line. Well there. timed. The, uh, I mean, a lot of the time you might think uh, an ace or a king is a is a good card, but still on the yeah. turn, it's six pairs you can make and four for the straight, so it's only ten outs, twenty percent of the cases. You're not getting that good of odds with the opponent betting around four into seven thousand. You have to pay four for for eleven. So uh, even if you assume the opponent only has one pair, you don't get the odds to call there. If she wants to call there, she has to assume that in some cases the ace high is, is good. Yeah. And you think it's never good with it with that action? In it could be good, but uh, she just thinks it's not not uh, often enough that it's good because the the flop is really bad. The queen yeah. queen ten nine. It made sense to fold the ace king there, although it it feels wrong a lot, <laughs> a lot of the times. Vladimir nine six suited. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's yeah, what she the, uh, did. We thought the uh, some of the uh, the goodwill might go out the window when the uh, that hand got <laughs> when that hand reached the twitch. It's so funny, I was literally thinking about calling that hand with queen high after check raising <laughs> flop would be kind of insane. Yeah, and he's telling the truth. You you could see it just. I like a boss indeed. <laughs> so let's see how it affects his play now, because now is the point where he saw the, the really flow. Get it in here. So now in future hands. That might be always be in the back of his mind. One pair for Kevin here. He's got some uh, backdoor spade opportunities. It's like he's uh, pondering something. This card uh, improves Maria to a flush draw. She can Surprising do it. check by Maria or after? No, she can do a lot here. She doesn't want to get raised, so check calling here looks fine. I 
um, this this turn bet from Kevin is a bluff. No, he's uh, protecting his okay. two pair against a lot of draws and uh, even against hands like anything, <laughs> because <laughs> actually anything has two overcards to a four and the nine is an out, so that's already a bunch of outs. I'm gonna chop this one up. Nice, chop it up. I'll take that. Let me crush there. And it's the second time that uh, Kevin does it, so so we see that that he likes to to protect even his We're his weaker value holdings now. against so against us, random so combinations. Oh, what just happened that last time? I literally looked away and. I don't even know what the stack sizes were before, so did we win a showdown? I don't know. You I guess I'll it. have to find out with the rest of you guys. I am so tired of playing poker today, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I played all day yesterday, I played all day today, and then I busted in sixth place in the 1K side event um, like three hours ago, and now it's almost 1 a.m., so, like, I l love you, Kevin. <laughs> we are battling super hard right now, um, even though the points don't matter for this match. And, um, and I mean, like, I am exhausted from poker. But, by the way, I just heard the commentary in the nine high end. Um, yeah, you guys are not going to get me to say nine high like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> Just said it. <laughs> um, can't do it. Can't do it, even though that would have been the perfect opportunity. She knows we're just going to, like, clip that, that, that <laughs> yeah. little, uh, one she, little quote. And that's think, going on all our social media. I think she like, does know thing. exactly how <laughs> video editing works. You just said it exactly <laughs> when you when you click the button to bluff the man. Yeah, that's that's whatever, exactly that's when you said it. Two overs, got shot. We are sorry, but... Uh, <laughs> It's it's showbiz. You know <laughs> how it some, is. Uh, we need some promotional material for the playoffs. M Maria Ho saying nine high like a boss. That works pretty well. So uh, thanks. Thank you very <laughs> much, Maria. Coming to a Twitter feed near you. I like this bluff, and depending on the river, uh, the pairing, the board river is not perfect, but it is a diamond. It's like I have no flush blockers, but the way Kevin played this, he doesn't have a flush. I don't think, but I don't like how the board paired the river because I don't know I mean we could just blast off here even though we have like no blockers and no nothing let's do it but you have <laughs> you have more up. queens too so again without the blockers without the opponent having the flush too often and ourselves having a queen this was the perfect spot for a small value bet. She could have gone for a third of the pot there. And uh, because if she has the ace of diamonds as a, a bluff, maybe if she has <laughs> ace. <laughs> Kevin's uh, on oh. the 9-6 suited hand just <laughs> now. Kevin McPhee just going for it here. And uh, with a six or an eight. <laughs> oh, look at that flop. Four or nine for Kevin McPhee. Yeah, That's no good. Four or nine to uh, go two nil <laughs> up against Maria Ho. Safe run out for Maria, and uh, she takes control of this second match, of the final match of GPL Season 1, regular season. This is not a bad spot to limp the nines. Ooh, I like it. I like the trap.
Here we go. Kevin walks into the trap and uh, going to oh. need some help here. That's a tiny bit of help. Certainly some uh, cards that will give him some more equity or a six or a seven. That's uh, not That's a good a card. Good turn. Just a six or a seven non-diamond for uh, Kevin to regain some hope in this match. But it's Maria Ho going to take down the second match. And uh, this match is going to go to the decider. There we go. One all. Maria Ho fighting her way back in. And, uh, well, she, she deserved it. I mean, nine high like a boss. You know, you, she, once, she, once she showed the, the heart to, uh, to fire, that, fire that river, I don't think we, any of that match couldn't have gone any other way. <laughs> yeah, she, she played it well. She, she got him there. <laughs> and uh, luckily then the, the flips went her way too. Yeah, I mean, well, there we go. Kevin McPhee certainly showing how determined he is to win this match. Um, some of the, uh, some of the, the table talk uh, got a little bit feisty there. <laughs> Kevin McPhee accusing uh, Maria Ho of uh, not taking the game he seriously. Took he took it back. He took it, it back. He took it back. He took it back. But this is what we like to see. This is what we like to see. From lost the hand this and, <laughs> and then paid off with a with a with a middle pair, you know, and get shown the two pair. <laughs> and it, it just stings a little bit. You get you shake it off. You you give your opponent a little nudge and then. It's play the next hand and, and he took it all back yeah i mean this is the, 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 a game like this is what we want to see we want to see you know two players wanting to win and uh you yeah, know the needling and the uh the little comments and the uh the sort of faces that we've seen from uh, both these players indicative of two pros very competitive pros who uh don't like losing uh gpl matches or uh, in any variant of the uh game of poker final game coming up kevin mcphee against maria ho maria ho LA Sunset have uh, booked their spot in Vegas. Uh, they know that they're going to be playing the Sao Paulo Metropolitans in that first game in the Cube on the 29th of November. 30th of November is the second day of that playoffs. And of course, the final day, 1st of November, we will see the, uh, the cr champions crowned of the GPL Season 1. $100,000 to the winning team. I'm with George Danza, second night in a row. George, I mean... Who's going to win this final match? Is it, is it going to be a, a last hurrah for the uh, New York Rounders, or uh, is it going to be the uh, the nail in the coffin, the final nail, just to uh, just to seal their uh, seal their fate? I think it's going to be the final <laughs> nail. <laughs> Maria's got to take this one now. She has the momentum now after the yeah, second she's match. Yeah, got the momentum. She 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 got the boss moves. She's got in. the nine high like a boss. So everything is working her way, uh, and she's going to take the third match. Yeah, bringing that game to you soon, guys. That the last and final match um, of the season. Um, I'm going to give a few thank yous now. Uh, this this production would not work if it wasn't for our supporters on Twitch. Just want to thank our mods, Pedro, uh, Buanch, Heil Donner. <laughs> apparently, apparently, I'm not supposed to thank anyone. Uh, no. We don't thank those Screw people. Screw you guys. Screw you guys. Especially you Twitch. are useless. <laughs> we don't want you at all. You are you you are no good to us. <laughs> I wanted to thank you, but my producer just cut me right off. These guys apparently are going to move all in one hand. It's I'm the told. last hand of the, the season. <laughs> they agreed to it. just <laughs> put okay. it in. So I know I have six deuce, but um, since it's 1-1, one one, Kevin and I actually line. talked about it. And, you know, we're just going to go all in That's blind I mean. because I hate that I have six deuce, but it is what it is. Oh, must be nice, Kevin, with ace jack. <laughs> But I yeah, mean, she can I mean, still hit a six or a deuce. Oh you know, we both play. Diamond would make things interesting. We both really six or a deuce, or Kevin takes this down two one. Ish, and uh, you know. There it is. And Kevin really really takes it down to totally right. Totally wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <it's fine>. <laughs> and <laughs> a very, a very sporting um, agreement half there. Hour. Cool. Nice Love one, Kevin. Thanks Good, for letting me participate in a fun GPL season. Hopefully we'll see you back next season. Season one. We hope to see you too, Kevin. Uh, Maria, we'll see you in Vegas for the Cube. And I'll talk about players. momentum, and she just sticks it in with six twos up suit. You know? <laughs> she let me hang. Yeah, I, I, you know, she left you uh, um, high and dry there. Um, Anyway, this, I mean, this is it. This is it for, for season one of the GPL. Um, I have got to say a few thank yous. I did get cut off um, when I was trying to thank all our, our Twitch community, but I'm going to try again, and if I get cut off, I mean, then they're not getting their thanks. Um, Pedro, 
Bu uh, Buchan Donner, Lost in Poker, B82A, Pappy Van Winkle, Poker Mindset Coach, Jimmy Bluffett. Um, I want to shout out to our, our loyalist fans on Twitch, Cali Icon, Gigi Fab, John Paul the Great, Natalie Storm, Nuno, Nuno Ravaz, R Diesel, Reckless Tyler, T Dub at 5150, Tincho, Vina 85, Zakuro, Arugi, uh, John Account, Intra Chance, Poker Panther, Orange is Love, Decrypt Me, Tiny Bet, S Worthers, Sandy Sanchez, and uh, of course, all the team here at the GPL. Guys, this has been a long, hard season, and uh, I want to thank absolutely um, hugely um, our production team Richard Sambron, Dorian Michelle, um, Roberto Umania, um, Carlos Mure. Um, uh, I want to thank all the guys behind the scenes, Eric Denis, Max Rabinovich. I want to thank everyone who I've been in this booth with. Uh, Jonathan Little, Stephen Van Zadelhoff, Laura Cornelius. <laughs> Say your own name, George Danza. <laughs> um, um, and of course, former, ta uh, former commentators, Griffin Benger and Sam Grafton. And of course, Mr. Alex Dreyfus, who, uh, well, without whom any of the GPL would not have happened. So uh, thanks to everyone who's contributed to a, an, a great season. Um, and, you know, things... Onwards and upwards from here, um, onto the queue we go for the playoffs, then uh, should be a fantastic end to the season. And of course, thank you to our partners, PokerStars. Thank you for all the support they've provided us and the, uh, the, little, the team pros they provided us, um, George Danza and Jamie Staples today. Incredibly thankful to all those guys. Uh, that's it from me. That's it from George. Uh, I'm going to throw over to uh, Laura Cornelius to uh, end things in the lounge. Over to you, Laura. Okay, don't come here, I'm welling up, it's all too much. Felt like the Oscars just back then, didn't it? How emotional. Uh, it has indeed been an extremely fun season so far and uh, th uh, three great matches this evening. The first one was a little bit different to how we were expecting, uh, but of course it was very fun uh, for our last day as well. We're going to take a look at the standings one last time. Here are the America's Conference, as you can see, Las Vegas Moneymakers and the New York Rounders in the red, even though Kevin McPhee won both those matches tonight. A lot of skill went into that third one, didn't it? Uh, great to see, though, and lots of fun in the game as well. So our four teams that will go to Vegas are the San Francisco Rush. They're in fourth with 161 points. The Sao Paulo Metropolitans, we saw Joao Bauer in action earlier. They have 183 points. LA Sunset, well done Maria Ho, we've just seen her in action. She picked up three points for her team and the Montreal Nationals riding high in the sky with 199 points. Congratulations to Marc-Andre Ludasseur and his team for finishing first in the America's Conference. They will pick up that big chip bonus as they go to the playoffs. And here's the Eurasian Conference to end on. In the red, we see the Rome Emperors and the Paris Aviators. That only happened last night. It was such an exciting evening, but it was very, very sad for Max Pescatori and the Rome Emperors. Also, Fabrice Soulier, George Danza, who you've seen in the commentary booth, and the rest of the Paris Aviators. They won't be making it to Las Vegas. But congratulations to our four teams. That will be. It was so close. The London Royals nearly weren't there, but they just scraped through with 156 points. And then, of course, we have our other teams, the Berlin Bears. What a fantastic comeback they have had this season in the last few weeks. It was Brian Rast who turned it all around for them, and they have just been flying high ever since that those 14 points were won. Hong Kong Stars, we can't forget Randy Liu. He is our top scorer of the GPL, and he has done a fantastic job in helping with those 164 points and that second place finish. And also we saw Anatoly Filatov, the manager of the Moscow Wolverines, in action last night. What a great match that was against Alex Luno. He was so dynamic, so exciting, so much fun. 168 points, massive congratulations to Moscow. And we are very excited to see them. And they take the biggest chip bonus when they get to Vegas. This is what the playoffs look like. Everyone will be fighting for that first place prize of $100,000. That will be shared out between the whole team. So everything to play for. As you can see, these are the teams. You can see the Montreal Nationals will take 130K chip bonus. They'll be playing the San Francisco Rush with a 100K chip bonus. Then we've got LA Sunset 
which is second seeded with 120k bonus versus the Sao Paulo Mets with 110k bonus. And then on November 30th, which is the day after, we will see the Moscow Wolverines face the London Royals. They will have 130k next to the 100k bonus of the Royals. And then Hong Kong Stars with 120k bonus, they will play the Bears with 110k bonus. And then we will see the America's Conference, the best of them, play the best of the Eurasian Conference, and that will be the decider. Whoever wins that will be taking home the grand prize of $100,000. And this will all be played out from the Cube in Las Vegas. It will all happen on the, tw well, it will start on the 29th of November, of course, and continue until the 1st of December. It's going to be so exciting while we crown our very first GPL champions. So do join us back then. Roland has, of course, thanked everyone. So I'm not going to start doing the whole Oscar speech and thank you everyone again, but you know who you are. Thanks for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure so far and it's been so much fun. I've loved every minute of it. So I hope to see you very soon. After this, we will show you a replay of tonight. So do enjoy it and do, do enjoy all of the replays and all of the features uh, that we show on our channel here on Twitch as well. We will see you in Las Vegas. Take care.